Samsung finally unpacks their new Galaxy S4. Leaks suggest that Verizon will drop the Droid DNA soon for the HTC One, and LG plans to make the Optimus G Pro as hot as the Galaxy S4. I'm Jaime Rivera. Now, if you see me a little buzzed, that is not because of beer, but really about the second gallon of coffee. This is Pocket Now Daily. With all the Galaxy S4 busts today, you'd think that their competition would be with their arms crossed, but seriously, it didn't happen that way. First of all, HTC employees were handing out water and chips to the press at the New York City Music Hall, and then in Times Square, LG had taller, higher ads of the Optimus G Pro on top of the Galaxy S4 ads, so just to give you an idea. LG has just confirmed that they'll be also shipping a new feature pack for their LG Optimus G Pro with the idea of bringing the eye control technology that you also see in the Galaxy S4. So it's just a matter of time before HTC figures something out as well. Stay tuned. And speaking of HTC, for those of you wondering when the HTC One will reach Verizon, well, it'll probably reach the carrier earlier than you thought. It was planned to reach AT&T in March at some point within the month, and now apparently a same document was leaked recently mentioning that the HTC One will also make it to Verizon to replace the Droid DNA within the same month of March. Could it be the fact that Verizon has just figured out the fact that the DNA was not as hot as the HTC One? This could be the case though, stay tuned, we'll keep you posted if these rumors are actually true. Now let's move away from Android for a bit. For those of you having issues with the live tiles on Windows Phone 7.8, well, Microsoft is already pushing the update in order to be able to fix the live tile issues along with other complaints from Windows Phone 7.8. Obviously, it's kind of hard to tell if you'll get it at this moment, so please leave us a comment down below if you already got the update to Windows Phone 7.8 and if you don't have any more data issues with the live tiles that you currently had. And for those of you interested in the BlackBerry Z10 in the United States, well, you'd think that BlackBerry had enough with just one event in New York City, but they're now going to have another one on March 21st to market the device again because it's being launched in AT&T the next day. And even though we still don't know what's going to happen with Verizon and T-Mobile, we do know that it's going to reach Sprint by March 28th, so stay tuned. And finally, for the news that all of you have been either waiting for or dreading for, Samsung has just unpacked their new Galaxy S4. And, uh, well, it's pretty much the same device that was already leaked, so you pretty much already knew everything about it, or mostly everything from our website. But, well, we have a sleeker design, which is actually the good thing, but sadly and both happily, TouchWiz is almost exactly the same. And even though Samsung has packed some new features like eye control and also finger hovering, it begs to wonder if this device will be enough to pack as much buzz as the Galaxy S3. So that leads me to the question of the day. Is the Galaxy S4 your next daily driver? With the HTC One, the BlackBerry Z10, with the current generation iPhone 5, and almost every other device out there, do you think that the Galaxy S4 has everything for you to want it? In my particular case, I do want the Galaxy S4, and the reason why is because it's the only smartphone out there that'll give you everything you want without a compromise, even though the design is kind of questioned. But leave us a comment down below. I know tastes are different for everybody, so let me know what you think. And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Of course, if you want an earlier scoop... The device will reach... 10 in the United States? Well, it seems that the... And for those of you interested in the BlackBerry Z10 in the United States, those of you... Leaker, but it still looks a lot like the Galaxy S3. That's pretty much the unpositive side. Unpositive is not a word. <laughs>